Near the town of Bridgewater in Nova Scotia, there's a river, the Petite Riviere. Not far from town, at a place called Conqueror Mills, the river is interrupted by the remains of a dam. Simon Pierce moved his production glassware workshop from Ireland to the mill in Queechy, Vermont, in 1981. Sardar Tannhauser is rebuilding a micro-hydro site where he lives near South Newbury, Vermont. Its 40 kilowatt output will have a value of approximately $12,000 worth of power for sale a year. So we came to Maine, looked at four different mills and saw this vast structure here. Brown's Mill decided it was really too much for us, too big, but for other reasons, the other three mills weren't available. So we bid on this one by offering to take over the mortgage. And uh, we got the whole site, 28 acres, uh, 600 kilowatt peak hydro plant, a house, a mill, everything for a, less than you'd pay for a house in, in Connecticut. You know, I start maybe with an idea on paper on my head and then I make it and then I look at it for a while and live with it and then I'll change it. And, and most of the shapes revolve like that. So very, very little of the designing is just done on paper and then made. It, with glass, it's very hard to go down and just play with the glass and, and come up with a shape. It doesn't work like that. You have to know what you're going to make before you start. You can't change halfway, and you can't stop and look and wait. Once you start the process, you have to go right through it. Impart an angular velocity to the water in this direction here, and that hits this blade pushing it in that direction. Then the water drops down, and as it exits from this, it produces an additional reaction as it comes out of there. Again, it's so you've got a double reaction. That is a typical Francis turbine. 